Hi guys. I know you're tired of seeing me in a black shirt. That's the only color I own. I swear I'm always wearing a black shirt. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, if you're new, and I post lifestyle content and a little bit of financial tips. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In today's video, I'll be talking about living in my apartment for one year and some months, and the pros and the cons. But yeah, let's get right into this video. In my apartment tour, I listed like all the information about how much I paid for my apartment, how much I had to put down. Within six months of living here, I experienced that I was having roaches. I haven't seen a roach since I was like six. So that kind of gave me a lot of anxiety. I complained to the management of the building and they were able to get me exterminated. So that has cleared up. Since my last six months, that has cleared up a lot because I didn't have to buy any spray anymore. I barely see them. If I see roaches, it's because they're coming through the front door because everybody else's apartment is so freaking dirty. Um, that was resolved. My year anniversary was in February, so my rent did go up a, a extra 3%. I'm now currently paying $15.70.75 a month for a one bedroom, which is still kind of pretty good because I looked up and one bedrooms are about 1600 now, so I'm technically in that field. Within living here, everything has become much better and I'm not as sad as I was. Not sad, like I don't have that much anxiety as I did before. So now I'm in a space where I would like to decorate my apartment and it's been a year later and I still haven't really decorated. So I'm waiting for my sister to actually find her own apartment and move out so I can get my living room situated. I'll have those videos coming soon. But the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to do a rent-friendly bathroom makeover because I don't like the yellow walls. Like, that really like turns me off. Like, I hate yellow walls. The only thing that I do not like is the fact that they would like to take rent out of your bank account. I'm not a I'm not a person that like that because I've been um, a victim of identity theft. So I told them to remove it plenty of times for like the past since December. So about like so about like six months, they didn't remove it. So they kept charging me fees. So now I have a total of six hundred and fifty dollars worth of fees, saying that I had a bounce check fee of every month that they weren't able to take the money out of my account. Which I told them I'm not paying that because I told y'all a long time ago take that off my account then it, it turns into a late payment fee. How is it late if I came there and paid my rent the day it was due? Like that doesn't make any sense. So that's the only problem that I have. They're very attentive now to me because I am a person that will write an email. If I have a complaint, I'm complaining and I'm writing an email to keep paper trail because y'all not about to bring me to court for nothing. So I have that on file. The rest of the six months after posting that video has been a very eye-opening situation. Everything cannot always go as planned. This is not my house. I was thinking about leaving and moving to another state, which I think I am, but I'm going to stay in New York for another for the rest of this year until my lease is up and then think about what state I want to move to. I was thinking about moving to Atlanta but everything that's going on in Atlanta, I'd rather stay in New York. Then the next few days, I'm gonna try to post more. I will be doing more home decor videos because I want to spruce up my apartment to make it feel more homely until the time that I have to leave. I promise you my bathroom will be the first thing that I want to do. Every apartment building is bad. The broker, he's the sweetest person ever. Like. I will recommend these apartments because they're renovated, they're affordable, and it's, it gives you time to save. I'm just picky 
I had a lot of anxiety, never lived alone alone by myself. So this was just like a big major thing for me, but everything is going pretty well. But yeah, that's all I have to say about my one year update on the two year lease. So I have another couple of months here. I just want to let you know, like everything is not going to be perfect. And I had to learn that living here that I can't get what I want because it's not my house, but I can put something together to my liking. All I can say is if you're looking for an apartment and you feel like you're not getting where you want to, this is a perfect time to rent an apartment because you know they're very cheap now because of the coronavirus. Anyone looking for an apartment, write down exactly what you want on a piece of paper, manifest it. One thing I didn't do is manifest my cabinet. I didn't manifest my dishwasher. That's what I'm gonna do next time. And I'll probably just manifest a house at that time. That's all for this video. And yeah, you know, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.